This is a lesson on estimating and measuring area, and it is lesson 10 um, in the unit 4 measurement. So let's look at uh, the steps. So I've sort of uh, summarized them for you so that you can follow them during um, your assignment. But so when you're going to estimate an area of a shape that is drawn on one centimeter grid paper, and uh, just to jump ahead for a minute, um, it's for shapes like this one, this triangle here, that are, are do not follow the grid exactly because you don't need to estimate those. You can find the exact uh, area for those. But for ones that don't follow the grid exactly, this is what you do. So first you count all of the, the whole squares inside of the shape. And you can place an X inside of each of these squares that is a whole square. So the, li the, sh the line of the shape doesn't go um, inside of that square at all. Next, um, the second thing you do is put half squares together to count as whole squares. So if they look like they're about half, um, then put them together so that like two halves equal one whole. And you can put a shaded half circle inside of these squares to show that they are half. And lastly, um, there's sort of a double step inside of a step. So there, well, all you'll have left once you do the full ones and the half ones, you'll have uh, some parts that are less than half a square and some that are more than half a square. So the ones that are uh, more than half a square, just count them as a full square. And ones that are less than half a square, just completely ignore their existence. Okay, they kind of balance out. If you if you ignore the ones that are smaller than half, but count the ones that are uh, more than a half as a whole, then they kind of balance out, <coughs> and they should equal um, almost a whole. But it's estimating, so it's okay if it's slightly off. Okay, so that's the summary, and then look at this example. This is this is what I did, and um, it follows these steps. So if we have this example that I showed you earlier, uh, the triangle is drawn on one centimeter grid paper, so right there, and then you can see that there it goes through. It's this line right here that causes uh, us to have some issues with counting the area. So here's the steps in action. So step one, count the number of whole squares. So I've put an X in each of the whole squares. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten whole squares. And you'll notice that like this one is almost a whole square, but it has the line cutting off the uh, corner. So I'm not going to count that as a whole square. Next up, we've got... Um, Combine the half squares to count as a whole square. Now this shape only has two half squares. This one looks about half, and this one looks about half. So I'm going to combine it um, into one full square. So there are two half squares, and this amounts to one full square. Lastly, we're going to ignore the smaller parts, um, or the parts that are smaller than half. So we're going to ignore this, 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 and this. <clears throat> And then we're going to count the parts greater than half of a square as a full square. And I put hearts in these just to differentiate. So we've got one, two, three, four almost full squares or more than half squares. So there are four. Okay, so the area then, uh, we had ten full squares and one, uh, one full square when we combine these two halves. And then we've got these four almost full square. So that equals 15. So that means that our area is of this triangle is about 15 centimeters squared. And notice I, I continue to put my units because that's important. We're still doing area. Okay, so now we're going to practice. Um, and so th at this point you're going to need to pause the video and try both of these. Um, if you're still um, not sure what to do, then you can watch me do this one and then try this one once you once you see a second example. Okay, so you've either finished this or you need to see this. So, uh, first I'm going to find all of the full squares. So I'm going to get my X. Okay, so you should have 16 squares uh, filled in just like this. So there's 12 in the middle and then 2 on either end, which equals 16. Now I'm going to find um, if there's any halves. And it looks like there are. They're just a little bit tricky to see. So I'll get my half semicircle thing here. 
And this one looks about half because it uh, it goes through the sort of the center. It's just diagonal a little bit. So there's one. That makes this one another one. This one over here. And this one over here. They look about half. Okay, so that equals uh, two full ones. And then all I need to do is uh, put a heart in each one of the almost full squares. It looks like there are six of them. Okay, so this equals a total of, so we had um, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 x's, um, and then 17 for this half, and 18 for this half, and then 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So the area of this shape is 24. Oh no! Okay, and word quit working on me here, so if you wanted to see the answer for this one again, um, you are just going to have to go to uh, back up the video. It was 24 centimeters, oops, centimeters squared, though. So I'll write that here. Okay, and then this one, if you haven't done it yet, please do it now. And if you have, then continue to watch. Okay, so first we need to find the full squares. All right, so it looks like, again, my full squares equals uh, 12 full squares. So next, we need to find uh, halves, and I see two half squares here. They look about half. This one looks about half, and this one looks about half. Okay. It would be okay if you decided that this looked like it was more than half and put it as a full. Um, it is estimating, so it's okay if it's slightly different, but it needs to be um, a logical estimate. Okay, and then we are going to put a heart here because it's more than half. Put a heart here because it's more than half. And these two little guys are, uh, they're smaller than half, so they don't get counted. Okay, so our, our total area here then would be, uh, there's 12, 13, 14, 15 centimeters, oops, centimeters cubed. And that's how you do this, okay? So you're going to do the BLM, and uh, yeah, have fun.